everybody, welcome to today's Gypsy Jazz Boot Camp. Today's all about the minor six inversions along with diminished seventh chords. Let's get started. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today on Gypsy Jazz Boot Camp. So I'm gonna pick up where we left off on the last video. Let me refresh your memory. We took some A minor triads. We added the sixth degree on. So we have four different shapes. Essentially, they're still triad shapes. Uh, kind of a hack here to take the A minor with the fifth on top and then replace it with the six. And then in between each one of those, we had a diminished triad. F diminished, G sharp dim, B dim, D dim, and then back to the F. So when you kind of weave in and out, you get this really neat effect. that on the five chord. Or you could even use it on the one chord, the A minor. You could even use it on the one chord, the A minor. You have a lot of fun with it. You could break it up into single notes. I was showing you some examples last time. Oh, by the way, if you want more examples in the PDFs, please do consider joining my online music community exclusively on Patreon. Patreon is where I post all of my materials and you can have instant access to it. So do please consider joining. Okay, so today's lesson is gonna pick up exactly where we left off, but now we're gonna add on a string. Now we're gonna have four note shapes. So we better go through the A minor six inversions first and make sure you know these. These are great, you know, when you're playing on songs like minor swing or anniversary song or anything, Joseph Joseph, that's in the minor key. A minor six, okay? That's with the six on top, A minor six. The root on top, that's how I think of it. A minor six with the flat three on top. A minor six with the fifth on top. A minor six with the six back on top. And if you want to, if you can, access it, go back to the octave. So definitely make sure you can practice this. Just going up, you know, put on the A minor six backing track. whatever fingering works best for you. Okay, good, so now you have those A minor six, four note inversions. Now we're gonna add back in the diminished seven that we did before, the same notes, F diminished. But now it's a seventh chord, so it's these four notes. G sharp dim. And now, look at that, it's just every three frets. You probably already know this trick. Okay, it's, you know, very common. You commonly use trick. And I'm gonna put the E in the bass. So that way you can really hear how it functions as an E7 flat nine. Okay, I'm just doing all four strings there. Okay, that's definitely one of the big gypsy jazz flavors. But now the fun exercise is to go back and forth. A minor six, G sharp dim. A minor six, B dim, A minor six, D dim, A minor six, F dim, A minor six with the F sharp on top, G sharp dim, and back to A minor six. And just get used to weaving in and out. It's so pretty. Diminish, and then. And you know, just again, have fun. Lot of fun, okay, you go up and down. And again, that can be used all on the E. Or it could be used on an A minor chord, you know, you can go back and forth. 
Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's quick mini lesson. Please join me for the next lesson where we're gonna take the same concept and we're gonna break it up. These chords going up the scale into arpeggios. Django used it quite a bit. It's very, very pretty. And we're just gonna basically walk right up the chord and then demonstrate how to extract these arpeggio shapes. Also, please consider joining my Patreon page for my online music community. It'd be great to have you and you can have access to all of my materials. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.